In ancient times, it was commonly believed in Asia that elephants and dogs could never become friends. This was because elephants disliked dogs, and dogs were afraid of elephants. Whenever dogs encountered elephants, they would bark loudly to hide their fear of the larger animals. However, this only annoyed the elephants, causing them to chase after the dogs. Elephants had no patience for dogs, and even a quiet and still dog could provoke an attack from an elephant. Thus, it was widely accepted that elephants and dogs were natural enemies, much like lions and tigers, or cats and mice. It was in this era that a royal bull elephant lived in a well-cared-for shed in the neighborhood. There was a scrawny, undernourished stray dog that was attracted to the rich, sweet aroma of the royal elephant's food, particularly the rice being fed to it. Sneaking into the shed, the dog began to eat the delicious rice that fell from the elephant's mouth and soon became enamored with it. Eventually, the dog would only eat this rice and nothing else. Unbeknownst to the elephant, the once underfed dog grew bigger and stronger by consuming such nutritious food and transformed into a handsome-looking dog. The good-natured elephant didn't initially notice the tiny stray dog and continued to eat alongside it. Over time, the dog became used to being around the elephant and lost its fear, so it didn't bark at him anymore. Gradually, the elephant began to notice the dog's presence and they became friendlier with each other, to the point where they wouldn't eat without each other and enjoyed spending time together. During their playtime, the dog would grab the elephant's trunk and the elephant would swing him around in different directions. Eventually, the man from a remote village saw the dog and purchased him from the Mahout, without anyone's permission, taking him to his home village. The royal elephant became incredibly sad and refused to eat, drink, or bathe, prompting the Mahout to report it to the king. Fortunately, the king had an intelligent minister who was an expert in animal behavior. The directive given to him was to investigate the reason behind the elephant's condition. Upon arriving at the elephant shed, the wise minister observed that the royal bull elephant appeared to be sorrowful, although not showing any signs of sickness. Drawing from past experiences, the minister deduced that the elephant was grieving, possibly due to the loss of a close friend. The minister then inquired of the guards and attendants if they knew of anyone with whom the elephant had a special bond. They informed him of the elephant's deep friendship with a stray dog, which was no longer present in the shed. The minister subsequently reported back to the king, informing him that the elephant was not sick, but rather was grieving the loss of its friend, the stray dog. The king was saddened by this news and asked the minister for a solution. The minister suggested that a decree be issued, announcing a fine for whoever was in possession of the stray dog. The decree was enacted and the villager who had taken the dog returned it to the shed, bringing happiness back to the royal elephant. Filled with immense happiness, he sprinted back to his best friend, the royal bull elephant. Overjoyed, the elephant lifted his best friend with his trunk and placed him on his head, while the happy dog wagged his tail and the elephant's eyes sparkled with delight. The two friends lived happily ever after. In the meantime, the king was thrilled by his elephant's complete recovery and amazed by the minister's ability to understand the elephant's emotions. The king rewarded the minister accordingly. This story highlights that even natural enemies can become the closest of friends. It encourages people to value and cherish their friendships while also reaching out to their enemies. Spending time with someone who seems impossible to befriend may bring about understanding and acceptance, just like the dog and the elephant.